trust me when I tell you the blackening is hilarious the funniest film of the year definitely a must-see movie for the summer this movie will have you cackling from beginning to end it is such a kiki the trailer did not do this film justice it is so funny I could not stop laughing and what's so great about it is that it's chock full of black colloquialisms in black vernacular it it just feels like soul food like the there's so many inside jokes and you know some t the some of the jokes are coming because they feel so familiar and familial oh my god this is a fantastic movie i am going to see it again i went to an early screening of the film it was almost sold out and everybody was just having a good time it is funny so these eight friends get together there they have like this airbnb in the woods it's a cabin in the woods and it's juneteenth and so they're they're college friends there to kick back and have a good time well they end up getting trapped in the cabin because some deranged person um, has them playing this game to save each other's lives. So they have to answer these black questions, these questions that, you know, the black family and black community would be familiar with. And if they get any of them wrong, they have to choose someone to die. Okay. Not absolutely original, but because it's so rooted in uh, black familiarity, you will, I mean, it is so funny. I have not laughed this hard in so long. I mean, it had to have been years since I've been in the theater and just laughed like this. Like I'm not talking about a couple of laughs, not talking about five laughs, I'm talking about consistent hilarity. The humor is so punched up. It is so funny. This is, I think, exclusively for black people and those who are in black spaces a lot you'll get it if you grew up in a black neighborhood if you grew up in a black family you're going to get these jokes and you're going to just cackle die laughing it is so funny from beginning to end consistently funny they know that people are going to laugh the people who know the jokes because a lot of it is inside humor there are a lot of <laughs> There are a lot of spades jokes. It's just a really good time. I have to mention who's involved. So Tim Story is the director of this film. Now he's directed Fantastic Four. He's directed the Think Like a Man uh, series. He's directed right, the Ride Along movies. Great director. His vision in this film, spectacular. I love what he did with this film. The writers are Tracy Oliver. She's been nominated for Emmys. She is currently writing on Harlem. She has a lot of writing credits. Girls Trip, Survivor's Remorse, uh, Harlem, First Wives Club, talented writer, okay? Then you have Dwayne Perkins, who has, he's also no Emmy nominated, and he has written for The Upshaws, The Amber Ruffin Show, and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Talented creatives, I love what they did with this film. Okay, the cast. The cast is stacked. Antoinette Robertson, Dwayne Perkins, who is a co-writer on the film. He stars in it as well. He is hilarious. You have Sinqua Walls. He was just in White Man Can Jump. You have Grace Byers, who's Boo Boo Kitty. <laughs> She's been Boo Boo. She'll forever be Boo Boo Kitty from Empire. She is Oh my goodness, she's so fantastic. You have X Mayo, uh, Melvin Gregg. Oh, Melvin Gregg was so funny. You have Jermaine Fowler, uh, <laughs> you have Yvonne Orgy, and Jay Farrow. It's stacked. It is so funny. This one, 
when I tell you. You will laugh until you cry. It's hilarious. You will be shifting in your seat, falling out of your seat, laughing. This film is good. So when I tell you, it's rare. It is so rare that so many jokes evenly spread throughout this film. It is constant laughter in a way that just feel, it feels like this was a full, almost sold out theater. And it just felt homey, like a family reunion, like a get together of people who we were sharing stories in a way. This film is full of black colloquialisms in our vernacular. And it just had these like really <laughs> important moments in black culture that just it just felt so nostalgic and comforting and soul stirring i love this film this is one of my favorite films of the year i could not stop laughing i cannot recommend this film enough please go see this film i know the competition is stiff you have the flash and you have elemental i get it i get it I get it. But if you want to have a good time, this is it. This is the one. Take your click, take your girls, take your crew. You will have a great time. Not only is the movie great, the acting's great, the performances are great, the comedy is hilarious. Not only is it all that, but there's this mid credit scene, which is really cool. And then after all the credits roll, please stay for the game at the end. It's about 10 minutes after all of the credits roll. The cast and the director, Tim Story, they play this game called The Blackening, where it's kind of like Family Feud style, where the host will like ask a question and if you hit the buzzer in time, you have to either finish uh, the phrase or answer the question. And I mean, and everyone stuck around or at least a lot of people stuck around in the theater and was like yelling the question. It was just a good time. It felt like a family reunion. This is a, please support this movie. I know The Flash is out, Elemental is out, but this is out too. It is the funniest movie of the year, The Blackening is currently playing in theaters now.